Hello and welcome to our Java project. My name is Kobi Osterman and my partner is Raz Romano. Our lecturer is Eli Halsechi. Okay, let's begin our presentation. First, we had to select a search problem. Second, we needed to solve the search problem using different search algorithms. Third, we used different design patterns in order to implement any search problem or any solution. Furthermore, our project is based on a client-server architecture. We will review our code in the Eclipse workspace later on. Search problem. There are different types of search problems, as you can see here. We have chosen the 3D maze. Maze creation. In order to generate the maze, we use the DFS algorithm. This algorithm is depth search algorithm, which we implemented in a recursive way. And we modified to work on a 3D maze instead of a 2D maze. Solution algorithms. We have chosen two algorithms that can solve any kind of a search problem. The BFS algorithm, in each move, it selects the best possible move. The A star algorithm is similar to the BFS but has an addition. The addition is the heuristic function, which can improve the algorithm performance. In the implementation of the algorithms, we used different data structures such as HashMap, Priority Queue, ArrayList and others. Design Patterns In order to use any kind of maze generator algorithm or a solution algorithm at runtime, we used strategy patterns. And for our search problem, we used object adapter. Client-server architecture. In order not to allow the client to gain direct access to the raw data and to be able to modify different parts in the code without a lot of changes, we have separated the code to different layers. Our client side is based on our MVP architecture. And our server side is based on the MVC architecture. The server side is responsible for the creation of mazes and their solution. The client addresses the server in order to get that data and the client displays the data in a way he chooses to display it. Now we will review our code in the Eclipse workspace. We will start from the server side. We can see here we have used an MVC architecture. We will now look at the MyServer class which uses the TCP communication and uses the thread pool to serve all the clients with all the threads. We will now run the server. We will start the server. We can see different commands. We can use either command we want, like update connection. We can change our settings of the server. The server is running. Now we will go to the client side. You can see here we have chosen to use an MVP architecture. We will now run a new client with a 3D uh, uh, display and another one with a 2D display. We will now can choose to use GUI or CLI. We will now choose the GUI, Graphic User Interface. We can see we have, cho we have reached the main game menu. In this menu we can see the start new game button. In the upper menu we can see the file, game and communication. In the file we can choose to open the properties file or to change the properties. This, in this uh, menu we can see we can generate the algorithm with the DFS or simple algorithm or we can choose the solution algorithm or we can choose the maze dimension. If we change it and save it, we can see it still have been changed. We have saved it. We can start a new game or we can load the game if we want. In the communication, we can change our connection settings to, a, to connect to a different server or different IP and port. We will now press the Start New Game button and we will we'll receive a new maze from the server. The client will display the maze. Now we can choose to move 
to add the direction using the keyboard, we will now ask for a solution from the server and the client will move to the target yes we won <laughs> now we will see a different client connecting to the server it will have a different display we can choose to change properties like the previous client now we will press the start new game as you can see it's a different display it's a pretty display of a maze and as before we can save the maze or solve the maze we will choose to solve the maze the client has solved the maze we will now close the server in a safe way The server has been closed in a safe way and now we have closed all the clients. We can see there are no threads in the background, no warning, no nothing. Everything works properly. And uh, finally we can see the server has saved the file which is the maze solution file who, which holds all the solutions to the maze. Thank you.